presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Uh, bottom line, we are kicking this off from the Isle of Murata. We're on a little uh, work vacation, and uh, we're going to basically crank it out. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 290, NASDAQ up 300, s and is up 64, gold contract down $1.90, trading at 1786 an ounce. We get silver off 28 cents, $22.82 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 12, $69.27 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note right now uh, up two ticks, trading at, uh, one, at uh, 131.03. 30 year up 25 at 162.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 210 ticks, trading out at 96.298. The euro is at 112. The yen is at 113.5. And, and the British pound is trading at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the Wednesday, uh, Friday rather, uh, after Thanksgiving, bottom line, market goes south, you monster volume, breaks a swing point, breaks it with volume. SPY out here today is up $6.70. What we have is the window dressing happening. I do expect that what you're going to see is this, is that we're going to try to go for this high once again. You're at 465.72. Now, the kicker here is that we've already had three separate warnings, folks, actually four separate warnings in the last six months that this market wants to lower price. Each one of them has rejected lower price and goes higher. And depending on how long you've been listening to me, you know, many times I've told you, the market gives everyone many, at least three times to get out. That's what it seems to me. So looking at this, I'm saying to myself, okay, man, this is going to throw this into a consolidation. It's not the end of the world. That being said, let's go over to the queues because the queues took back everything it had given up. So if we take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see with the Qs, the Qs are up eight and a half dollars, eight dollars and eighty cents. Qs are go down with fifty-one million, which was in three point. Let's see, nine to ten to eleven. Yeah, three three and a half hours, and we're going up in six and a half hours at thirty-seven million. So you can see how that's shaking out. Bottom line, I do expect what you're going to see is that the Qs are also going to try to get to the high. If we get to the highs and you have lighter volume. Excuse me, bottom line, I expect that this is another indice that wants to consolidate. Now, when I'm talking about the consolidation, I'm talking about the bottom of the consolidation being October 4th. So that's 350. That's a long way down from where the queues are right now. But I suspect that's exactly how this baby is shaking out. And we'll see. We'll see after we get to the highs. Right now, bottom line, the market wants highs. Gold. Gold contract out here, bottom line. What you had on Friday, gold traded higher gave it up on price we traded up to 1819 you closed out friday at 1788 you get 139,000 contracts right now you going sideways golds have to gonna have to build costs that's the bottom line you're back to the breakout area from the 5th of november you you got to build costs to get the higher price silver we go take a look at the silver market out here what do you have with the silver market bottom line silver market's down 28 cents we're trading out of the price point of 2282 and let's see what we have here. So silver is going to the highs of the lows of the last 
leg down. So 2273 we hit today, 2256 is actually the highs and the lows. And it looks like it's going to hit that number. Now, notes and bonds, this is where this gets really interesting. And this is why. You know, so you figure the whole world is saying, okay, we got to go up on rates. Well, you know what? The market, you can see how fast in a half a day how fast the market goes into bonds. I mean, this was an extraordinary move. You take a look at the 10-year or the 30, it doesn't matter which one you go to, the, the buy-in is astronomical. What will also happen is this. Because of the way that the volatility came in the marketplace, what we will see, there'll be a lot of folks flat out that just wanna buy bonds, a lot of folks that are basically gonna tighten up their portfolios because the, a lot of folks are gonna be saying, hey man, the bottom line, we've been going up for a long period of time. And I suspect we're going to be either have a correction, be in a consolidation, all of the above. If we take a look at the 10-year right now, the 10-year is yielding 1.51. And we go to the good old U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What you're going to see out here, dollar on Friday came down hard. Uh, the dollar is not holding price today. Well, we're up 191 ticks, but the reality is that we went to 96,445. We're at 96,281. I expect the dollar is going to probably come into lower price, and we'll see. Uh, if, in fact, it actually wants to tra change its trend. The dollar hit 96.938, and 90, 90, the 97 mark was where those swing points were. If we go take a look at the GDX and we take a look at some of these gold equities, what you're going to see here is that the GDX on Friday rejected lower price. It had lighter volume. was going into strength. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see how this baby's shaking out. Um, it, it was... It wasn't impressive, but it was it, – what I mean by that inside the gold and the silver equities, folks, is that normally when you get a down day that the, that, that the Dow is down 1,000 points, 1,100 points, the bottom line is they normally throw everything out, the good babies, the bad babies, all of the above. Well, they didn't do it this time. That is a, a monster deal. What's also happening is that any of the equities that you see that didn't go down on Friday – you want to pay attention to why because the bottom line is that that is showing strength inside of the marketplace if we go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today you get uh apples up 391 that's trading a buck 60. you get twitter down a buck we got uh carnival corporation uh up 15 cents advanced micro that's a big move up 684. you got nvidia up 16 dollars at 331. that being said yeah the high nvidia is up there somewhere about the uh, 360 mark i believe uh merck is down 476. we have uh let's go over it we'll take a look at amazon amazon on friday which was uh, just it's pretty amazing actually that amazon wasn't smoke with the rest of the market on friday you had wide price spread there's no doubt about that we went from 3600 to 3500 to close the 3504 but that being said that shows quite a bit uh in amazon uh what you also had you had the pot stocks uh they held up and then all of a sudden they're, they're selling off today um it was impressive how they held up but i don't like what's happening out here today with them uh today what's going on is that they're at 11 uh, Canopies at 11 11. It is breaking a swing. I was breaking it with light volume, but it is breaking. There, right there, folks, come right back. I'm Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 316. NASDAQ's up 328. SPs are up 69. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up about 323. We get the NASDAQ up at 378. S&Ps are up 70. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And then don't forget, folks, Steve has an out outstanding show every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see on the right-hand side, on, under Featured Content, you just hit that button. You can get one month for $149. You can get six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1,195, for which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, it sounded to me like you're living the dream. Did I hear you say you're coming live from Isle Morada? Uh, you d you did. <laughs> I, I That's love a it. fact. Uh, yeah. I know. I'm I telling many, you. Many an evening down there in the Chica Lodge. So uh, That's I don't know right. how that I don't know how that dealt with the hurricanes and everything. But uh, I mean, you and I were fortunate to live where we do. But and even yes. though we consider where we do live paradise, um, you know, it's it's great to be able to get down there. What what do you see? I mean, it must be is it crowded? Uh, you know, I haven't. I've, we've been here since Saturday, and I haven't left the house since Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not worried it, about the traffic, then. That's good. It, no, it, it, it is pretty. It, it is wild. I know what you're saying. I play. I plan on leaving the house just to see what is outside after the show. <laughs> oh, I know, great. man. That's I great. know. And the great. Island Marotta, folks. It, it is the Chico Lodge is insane. The Island Marotta in general. If you like fishing, or just in general, the keys are amazing. Absolutely. No, no. Absolutely. So what do we got here? Well, the last time we were together, a couple weeks ago, I had shared with, with you and with the uh, listeners, the viewers out there, that at some point in time, when the Dow forms a significant top, that what we should anticipate is a uh, retracement, a pullback that should last two to four years. And how I came up with the two to four year period is one of the tools that I can apply to my uh, uh, stocks charts out here is count consecutive uh, bars higher or lower. In this case here, I'm just focused on the bars lower. So it's got to be okay. at least two bars. Uh, I, one bar doesn't do do anything. And, and uh, so if you have two consecutive bars out there, uh, we've got a downtrend. So this takes us back into 1926. I'm not going to show the entire presentation that we did a couple of weeks ago. But what you notice here is you'll see increments of either two to four. 
Um, sometimes you get to to three. Obviously, that's in between two and four out here. And those are the uh, uh, and, and that's typically where we see the market go ahead and form some type of bottom. So that's what I want folks to anticipate. Now, the weekly chart for the Dow. So that's okay. what we were looking at there. This was an annual chart. So here was uh, each of these bars here, folks, represents a year. Now we can do the same thing, and we move down into a weekly chart for the Dow. Now this shows that same two to, in essence, two to four bar, but here we're only getting two to three bar. Um, just what I refer to as kind of a knee-jerk reaction low. And last Friday's low should lead to a bounce or a bottom for the next couple of weeks. Last Friday's low was bar number three of this pattern. So this chart here is taking us back to the March 2020 lows. So I'm anticipating that we've got a bottom and it really uh, ties into what you're communicating, uh, which is to expect the market to move higher. Your cues have taken back all the losses from the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from Friday out there. So that's what yes. I'm expecting. So another indication that we should have expected a, a bounce or a bottom came from the New York Stock Exchange. The center panel here is the advanced decline oscillator. Tom, what that is, is that's the difference between the 19 and 39 day, because we're looking at a daily chart here, exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. And when this gets down into the minus 150 level, that gives us an indication of an oversold market. Oftentimes we see a, a bottom inside the New York Stock Exchange form. Uh, and when you start to get down to the minus 250 level, which is what we did on uh, Friday, we really get into the extreme oversold condition. So this condition has to be worked off. And it's another reason to have anticipated what we actually see taking place today in the market. Another indication uh, was the of a bounce or at least a bottom came from the NQ on Friday and as strong as the market moved down what the NQ did was it pretty much stopped at the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile and folks That's those are the blue horizontal wow. yeah ex exactly you know it's, it's so helpful because without the TAS market profiles I, I have to use other tools to try to identify where the buyers and sellers are. But these market profiles, boy, they just identify it. They're usually not at swing points. It's somewhere in between. And then yeah. what, what's nice is that there's three different lines that are drawn, folks. Now, I'm only using one color here, which are blue. And the top line is where sellers are. The bottom line is where buyers are. And the center line is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value with inside that range, the range being the bottom to the top. When the center of the profile is closer to the bottom, as it is here, uh, that tells us that we've got a bunch of buyers lined up between 16.055 and 16.134. So it's not unusual to see, so support held on a daily basis. We're in the, the, the Dow, the YM, the ES, the uh, Russell 2000, they're just in a world of hurt. But this market's not gonna get any traction to the downside unless the NQ fails or the Qs fail, and, and they just haven't done that. So I'm on board with you anticipating that the NQ is gonna go make a run for the top of its profile, which is 16.09. Maybe it's gonna go make a run for the all time high. Maybe even it's gonna take that out. But right now we know that support is held and resistance is 16009. Another indication of a uh, uh, of, t of a bounce today was that on Friday, the spot volatility had a one day rate of change of I believe it was like 54 percent out there. This chart here, Tom, the top is the S&P 500 and the blue arrows represent when we have one day rates of change above plus 10 percent. Doesn't matter whether it's 15 percent. 25%, 54%, we're just looking for any close that has a one day rate of change above 10%. And what these blue arrows will show you is we typically see some type of bounce or bottom in the marketplace. Now I'm calling this a bottom simply because of what the NQ did in holding the daily profile. The um, uh, the getting to the extreme oversold condition inside the New York Stock Exchange, and then that three bar move inside of the uh, Dow out here, which well, I'm calling this more of a bottom than a uh, bounce, at least at this stage here. But Friday's damage, it was pretty significant, significant enough to actually take the consolidation breakout pattern that you and I have been discussing with uh, listeners out here, and it, uh, it negated that price. And you just have to look at the bottom panel of charts here, folks. Both the Dow and the Russell 2000 have come back into those white rectangles. It says they didn't have a consolidation breakout. And if anything, price could move down to the bottom. Could. Uh, it has, and if the lows get taken out of uh, Friday, then I'm wrong. And I mean to close below it, then I'm wrong about my analysis. Otherwise, I expect that we're going to see price make its way back to the highs or at least to the top of their profiles. And uh, the only way these markets are going to, you know, when we spoke a couple of weeks ago, it looked like we were going to head higher into January. 
I'm not so sure just yet. Uh, yes, I'm calling it a bottom, and we should get back up to resistance levels out there, and it could be the all-time highs. But the only way this market is going to move higher, we're going to get that Santa Claus rally at last through the end of the year is to take out those highs because we have tops in each of them. The ES Mini's got a TD9 count top, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The NQ's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The, the uh, YM's got a TD9 count. The Russell 2000 got to sell the D point pattern. So there's a lot of topping patterns that are out there that the market is going to really have to work to, to, uh, uh, to, uh, and the last thing I'll share with folks here is if we're in this two to four year correction period, if we're just beginning, the one thing yes. that will happen is we will see closes below the weekly TAS market profiles. Those have been all of the buy the D points and just the ES mini on the very right hand side shows you those. And on ES mini right now, that level to be watching is 4504. So I believe we go higher for the next couple of weeks. You know, it's going to be cool, Steve, is to see what happens at these profiles on the net NDX 100, right? I mean, because yes. it didn't break which is pretty amazing. So it, it, this it is crucial, not. folks, because the, the bottom line is that uh, it didn't break. If it breaks, then you know that, okay, man, it's trouble in paradise. We got action to the downside, yeah. I love it. Absolutely. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. Very easy to get Thanks, Steve's Tom. newsletter, folks. All you do is you hit market insight. I mean, uh, market, uh, That's market the probability. probability. <laughs> <laughs> have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks, man. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up by 288. NASDAQ's up 316. S&P's up 16 and a half. And don't forget, folks, when we talk TAS uh, market profiles, it's very easy to get them. We have them right on our website. Just come over to our website at TFNN, and you go into services, and you can uh, test drive the TAS market profiles there. It, it's a phenomenal system. And what the TAS market profile, folks, is, 
is price and volume. That's what's so cool. The difference is it's they switch it on the the bottom line when you're normally looking at the market you're looking at a market head on and you're looking at okay higher price higher volume all of the above it switches it onto its side that's what it does and the bottom line it is picking out where the most buying and selling takes place that's what a profile is where uh, the guy named Stottlemyer got this going in the 1970s bottom line is that they used a huge amount on the um, futures stock exchanges, I have no idea why uh, it hasn't even actually even got bigger, but it, it's, it, it's a phenomenal program. So check it out right, uh, right uh, at TFNN. Let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. you got strength out here. Salesforce is up 4.7%. You got IBM up 3%. United Health is up 2.7%. Merck. Merck is down 6%. You got Caterpillar off 1.6%. You have Walmart down uh, 1.8%. And you have uh, Dow down uh, 1.3%. Inside the NASDAQ 100, the NDX 100, what you have out here, you get the NDX 100. This is quite a move on the NDX. Moderna is up 11.5%. You got LAM Research up 5.5%. Microchip. Technology is up 5.5%, as is NVIDIA. Uh, when those chip stocks go, folks, the NASDAQ goes. The chip stocks bring the, SM, uh, bring the SMHs up. SMHs bring the NASDAQ up. NASDAQ brings the most rest of the market up. Taken away from it, on the way down, you got Peloton down 3.5%. NetEase is off 3.7%. CrowdStrike's down 3.3%. And Dexcom is off 32 Now, if we go into the NDX, let's go take a look at this NQZ. So let's take a bring the futures up because this is phenomenal, man. And when Tommy was on this morning, a bottom line is that it had already got everything back, which is hard to comprehend. Um, bottom line is that when you're taking a look at this, where well, there we go. When you're taking a look at this, you're going to see uh, bottom line. This is a classic railroad track. Railroad track. You go down, you go back up, same amount. Uh, bottom line. We'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, the lows of the high is 16,364. So we're already into the bar. When you're into the bar, your probability goes much higher that you are going to get to the top of that bar. So I suspect that's what we're going to have. Now, look at the difference here. This is where this gets intriguing. If we take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you're going to see inside the Dow Industrials is that you, know, you hardly get a bounce, man. 277 points is nothing. You gapped lower, and this is what Steve was talking about, that you got into the lower range, okay? 35,631 is the lower range. What that sets up, this sets up the lower end of the consolidation. Now, that still being said, I expect that this Dow is going to try to make a run. Uh, but the longer deal, my take is that the bottom of this consolidation inside the Dow gets interesting inside the Dow. This is like almost a different setup. Well, your next move would be somewhere down to 33,271. And then if we get into the Russell, you're going to see the Russell really got toasted. And what that was all about, that you have gold didn't get toasted, nor the equities did, but oil got test, test toasted, as did the many of the oil equities that are inside of the small caps. If we take a look at this, the uh, Russell, the Russell high is 24.58. You're definitely inside the lower range. And then if we bring this up, <coughs> excuse me, folks, <coughs> you bring this up, the lower end of this consolidation is 2085. And I expect that's what's going to hit. Um, you know, we go take, let's go take a look at the NQs, because if we take a look at the Qs, you're going to see the, the the Qs, if this is how this shakes out, the Qs will they can come down like fifty bucks, which is which is a monster, man. Fifty dollars is what, twenty percent, right? Yeah, far, no, ten percent. No, it's well from four hundred is only that's forty. It's only twelve percent from where we are. That doesn't even sound right. Ten percent is forty points. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So three fifties game. That's that's the real bottom line. Uh, that would that would put a hurting on uh, a lot of folks. What will now? Nah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see whether people tighten up uh, their portfolios. If we go into um, Bitcoin, you take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin looks to me like you get a nice bounce that's happening out here right now. Uh, Bitcoin also went south. 
Uh, that is trading right now at 58. We, we hit a, a low of 53. And to go inside the lower range in Bitcoin, you got to get to 52,900. 52,900 is going to bring you into this uh, $39,000 range. And, you know, we'll see whether we can get there. I suspect that's exactly where it wants to trade to. Um, there's more funds every day getting into Bitcoin. There's no doubt about that. But the real question is, is that um, are there more funds getting in versus getting out? And the note and bond market. The note and bond market were down that dynamic. Actually, let's go look at the TLT because the note and bond market, they came in buying hand over fist. I mean, in a monster way. And that just gives you an idea of what happens in any type of downdraft. Um, the, the TLT, that got up to a price point of 150 or 149.14. You did have volume on the deal, so it looks like the TLT also wants to go up and test this uh, 152.71. That's going to be a trip, man, if that, that actually – yeah, it looks like it's going to. Because what, what the TLT also did on the last retracement, it looks to me like we did – Whoops, I, I forgot about that. I can't open that too much. Okay. So it looks to me like what we did is about a 50% retracement. Let's see. So if we take the lows to the highs, actually it's more than that. So, okay, so picture this. From the lows that were generated out here in October to the highs that were generated in November, we did more than a 0.618 retracement. When you do more than a 0.618 retracement, the most you normally do when you get going, in this case going to the upside again, is that you basically go up and hit the highs. So we'll, we'll see how that baby shakes out. But that's, that's, that's how technically it normally happens. Modera, we go take a look at... Um, What? One second. What did I just do here? No, that's wrong. <laughs> that's too funny. Okay, so where are you? I'm, uh, there it is. Okay, so you're up 39 bucks. This will get interesting to see how this shakes out. Okay, so you came. The low established a couple weeks ago was 210. You had 365. The real question is, can it make it back to the top again? You know, you you get volume dying on the vine here, but you know what? Bottom line is that once you're ejected, well, three yeah, three sixty five, man. Yeah, next next time, next deal here is uh, four sixty four. That's what that's what it's looking like. Um, that's the bottom line. So, and then if we go Merck M R K, Merck looks like it's getting hurt. For, well, it is getting hurt for some reason. And if we take a look at Merck, yeah, Merck is run into the lower end of its consolidation. Uh, Dorsey, Jack Dorsey, Jack, uh, who started Twitter as well as Square. Uh, bottom line, he's given up his CEO position at Twitter. And uh, Twitter's trading down 88 cents right now, 46.18. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 280, Nasdaq's up 305, S&Ps are up 63. Now, let's get over to Microsoft because check this out. This is, uh, you know, Microsoft's been the strongest equity inside the NDX 100. Uh, Microsoft is trading 337.11 right now. And if we take a look at the numbers in Microsoft, so picture this, folks. Okay, so the low for the year in Microsoft is $209. The high is 349. We are at 337. Now, your PE on Microsoft is 36. So that means that you're paying $36 for $1 in earnings, okay? Revenue and earnings, let's take a look at this. Okay, so the last numbers, they took in $45 billion in 90 days. The next quarter, they're looking to take in $50 billion, and the quarter after that, $48 billion. Now, this has been, no doubt, a great equity. That being said, this is something that is concerning because if we take a look at this, where do you see this? You get Nadella, who's been a CEO for quite some time now, okay? He just sold, now check this out. This was before the crash. He sold half of his position. This is a monster number, man. I mean, this is like, uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so... You talk about it at the right time. Uh, software chief executive Nadella sold half, about half of the position last week, according to filing with the SEC. He he sold 838,584 shares over two days um, of the 1.7 million that he has. The transaction yielded uh, 285 million. Uh, this is the largest single stock sale Mr. Dendell had uh, ever sold. That's the bottom line. Now, there's a catch on – well, I'm, there's not necessarily a catch on this. But what happens, he is he does live in the state of Washington, and the state tax in Washington started at the beginning of the year is going to be an additional 7 percent tax on long-term capital gains. So you can look at it one way and say, okay, if you go up another 7 percent, it doesn't matter how much you make, you're going to get taxed. Um, the way I would look at this, man, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that the bottom line is that uh, when you take a look at the run that it has had, number one, and the P.E., so picture, just six months ago, the stock was at $243. That's telling me that he sees a slowdown also because it's, it, it's pretty amazing. So when you look at Microsoft, check this out. Microsoft has 7.5 billion shares outstanding. When you have that many shares outstanding, it's really hard to move an equity. Bottom line, you know, it went up. It went up tremendously higher, no doubt about that. Uh, so now when we take a look at management, let's take a look at this. So Nadella has been there. Let's 
It's interesting. It says see it says that he's the CEO and chairman only four months. That doesn't make he's there's no way. He's been there a lot longer than that. Maybe he didn't have both roles. I'm not sure. Um, the bottom line is that you you want to keep your eye on this thing because uh, I suspect well here, yeah, there's another way we can do it. One second. Hold on, let's do it this way. Okay, so when you get a PE that's running thirty six, then you take a look at their growth, okay? And their growth, well, their growth is running not bad, man. Their growth is still running 5% a year. 5% a year internationally, almost 5% a year in the United States. So that's still that's still a big number, man. That is a, that's a monster number, actually. But keep it in mind, folks, because the bottom line is that when you do have the CEO selling one half of the position, that is a monster number. There's no two ways about it. Put yourself in that same position. If you're the CEO... You know, the bottom line, you know what's coming down the pike. Uh, on a Microsoft type of deal, I would say you know what's coming down the pike in the next six months at least, three to six months. You might be a year. It's hard to tell uh, when a company that large. Uh, bottom line, keep it. Keep your eye on it. That That's telling me to keep your eye on the whole market too, by the way. XAU, the HUI. Let's go take a look at the XAU, the HUI. XAU right now is up 36 cents. And what you're going to see with a lot of these gold and silver equities, they rejected lower price on Friday. So I like what this did out here. Uh, bottom line, the XAU on Friday got down to a price point of 132, uh, 128.66, rejected the lower price. Got down to 128 today, rejected lower price again. This baby wants higher price, as does the gold bugs index. So we take a look at the gold bugs index. Um, right now, that's trading down 84 cents. And what you have inside of that, that also on Friday uh, traded down to the 251.94, rejected that. We rejected 251.63 today. That still wants higher price. This is going to get really interesting, man. Um, seeing, you know, how this whole movement's going to be coming inside the note and bond market because of the fact that you got that pullback. And you can see how fast things can change on a pullback. And what I specifically mean about that is that how people charge into the note and bond market. They, bottom line, want to make sure they can get their money back. We're at highs, and we have been at highs for a long period of time. Um, if we were talking last week, it was almost like, okay, hold it. You know, this the, the, the bill that's trying to get through Congress right now, that's going to be more money into the economy. Inflation is raging, which it is. There's no two ways about that. Uh, bottom line is that uh, volatility, you can see when volatility comes in the marketplace, how fast everyone goes in the note and bond market. So my take is that note bonds, as well as interest rates, are still going to stay low and what we're going to see here is the status quo is still going to be bottom line lower for longer. I know that's hard to comprehend, but the, <laughs> the bottom line is that it's out here and it seems to be out here in spades. Let's go take a look at a couple of home builders. You take a look at uh, Lenar. Lenar's up 62 cents. Where do I give you this number, folks? This number is pretty incredible. Um, so Lenar is up 66 cents. You get the high out here of 114. You're trading 107. That wants the high again. So check this out, man. This is pretty amazing. So uh, you can Google this the later. There's an article out in Bloomberg this morning, folks, and this is what it is. They're, what they're talking about is Atlanta. So Atlanta, um, their inflation was coming in about approximately 8.9%. That, you know, that's a big number. There's no doubt about that. But way to hear this number. This number is like insane. And I've been talking about this many times. And this is driving housing. This is going to be a real problem in a few more years. And what it is, is that the amount of large funds that are buying single family housing, okay, is phenomenal. Right now in Atlanta, folks, it's one out of every three houses. They're buying 32% of all houses that are out there. Now, something you want to wrap your head around. If you own a house, don't sell it. Trust me, do not sell that house, okay? Because the bottom line, my take, if we go forward five or ten years, this is going to be just like Europe. It's going to be sad, actually. And in Europe, folks, okay, the bottom line, I remember the first time I went to London, I couldn't believe that, you know, everyone has to rent you know, because they're kings and queens, they own all the houses. The bottom line is that we're getting to a point that is not great uh, in the aspect of how many funds actually own the houses, and the reason I'm saying that is that they're never going to be sold again, ever. They're going to be sold from a fund 
to another fund. That's that's just how funds work, okay? Um, and when I read that this morning, that's one out of three houses. 32%? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 243. NASDAQ's up 292. S&Ps are up 58. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 260. Nasdaq's up 294. S&Ps are up uh, 60. Let's go take a look at an Eco Eagle. So an Eco Eagle, wrote, folks, uh, the, the, uh, it's trading down a buck 13. You're trading out here at 50.71. And what you're doing, uh, you know, this was, this was dangerous this morning for sure. Uh, what you're doing is this, is that you're into the bar from the lows you know so this does say that hey guess what you can hit that low which is 49 to 29 now we rejected lower price today we rejected it at 50 bucks so we'll see if that's it it was i was very surprised this morning i can tell you this when i was looking at this uh an eco eagle pplt let we take a look at the platinum market uh platinum right out now trading it uh this is up 74 cents this is trading out of the price point of uh 89 82 and let me just Pull up platinum. Actually, I'm gonna bring up plat. I'm gonna bring up the generic contract. Okay, so platinum's trading up seven dollars and fifty cents. 
That's at the lower end. Well, it's trading at a strength. So this is trading. It's at the 945 strength at 961. This is kind of set up just like gold is set up. Uh, the bottom line is that, yeah, uh, we need buyers. You know, what, what, what we do have, folks, is this. Inside the metal market in general, we still need buyers. What we didn't have and what, what happened on Friday is that we didn't have sellers. But we know how this thing goes. You only can stay to that point for so long when you don't have sellers. You need buyers. And specifically what that means is that you need wide price spread. You need accelerated volume. Now, what I can see out here today is that you do have, it looks to me, probably larger funds that are going into some of the golds. And what we very well may have after a down day like Friday is that you might have a lot of the larger funds saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to start hedging myself more inside of the gold and silver market. And we very may, may have that. And, and that's exactly what we actually need to for these higher prices. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Building